A lot of people were bitching. How does Stephen Bonner get into the into the Hall of Fame? As far as this this company goes, for sure. But as far as this sport goes, this was the most important fight in the history of this company. At the time when this fight happened, okay, you know where we were back then. You know where we were. What is drawing millions of modern Americans to the bloody games? We were $44 million in the hole into this business. We had already done a deal on Fox. Remember, anybody who remembers, we did the fight on the best damn sports show, period. We pulled the highest ratings in the history of that show. And when I say the highest ratings, I mean by a long shot. We killed it. They still didn't do a deal with the UFC. So we went out, we shot the Ultimate Fighter around to every network on earth. Nobody wanted the Ultimate Fighter, nobody. The last guys we talked to was Spike TV. They didn't want it either. We said, how about if we pay for it? First season cost us $10 million. The minute that thing aired, it started pulling the highest numbers they'd ever had in the history of the network. By the time the Chris Lieben, Bobby Southworth, Josh Koscheck thing happened, we were like 2.3 million viewers, which is crazy, crazy numbers. Crazy numbers for a network like Spike that had just started. And we still didn't have a deal. So we get down to the finale, Diego Sanchez and Kenny Florian fight. Diego annihilates him in a minute. And I'm like, this is this is so bad, man. This is not good. Stephen Bonner, Forrest Griffin come out. This thing, this fight was so small, it was at the Cox Pavilion. The Cox Pavilion in Las Vegas. During six minutes of that fight, 12 million people tuned in for six minutes of that fight. You know how crazy that is? You know what insane numbers those are? And if anybody, who was there that night? Was anybody actually in the arena? People were stomping their feet in the place. It sounded like a fucking train was going through that place. There has never been a more important fight in the history of the UFC. There has never been a more important fight except for like UFC 1 in the history of mixed martial arts. and I have gotten together and we've decided there is no loser in this fight and we're going to offer Stefan Bonner a six-figure contract with the UFC.